Hi, and welcome back to these AWS 5-Minute Tips from Accelerate. In the first video, we created a DynamoDB table and added a few rows to that. We talked about duplicating, talking about modifying, and it was pretty easy to create that table. In the second video, we created a Lambda function where we just simply printed out the environment variables that were passed into it for our test data. In this video, we're going to put those two together and have the DynamoDB DB table trigger calls to the Lambda function, passing in the changes, whether a, a row was modified, we added a row, or deleted a row. So we have our function here. We still want to uh, print out some information, but not these variables being passed in. We want to print out the entire event so we can see exactly what's being passed in. And it doesn't make sense to return this event key because we don't have it anymore, so I'll comment that out. And then we'll return a JSON uh, set of values for message, and we'll say processed rows. And that will return uh, the message to the caller. So we'll save that and run test to make sure it runs OK. And we get our message back of processed rows. We still see the data being passed in, which later will be the data from the DynamoDB table. So now let's go to our table. So I'll bring down the services, click on DynamoDB table and then click on tables and the table itself and now we can see our items are still in there and we're going to create a trigger so under triggers we want to select create trigger for an existing lambda function and actually pick that function click create but there's a problem see our lambda function doesn't have access into our DynamoDB table so we have to go to IAM to set up the security for that when we created our lambda function it asked us if we wanted to create a new role for it, and we said yes, but it only gave it the basic permissions. So I'll click Cancel, go to Services, and IAM. And then under IAM, we want to look for the role that was created. So I'll click on Roles, and then we'll scroll down, and we'll see one that was created for us, this HW Python role. So I'll click on that, and click on Attach Policies. And I'll do a search for Dynamo, DB, and we'll look for the one that gives it access to the streams. So this one has provide list and read access to DynamoDB streams and write permission to cloud. And it's after that, it says cloud watch. That's for the logs, which is also good. So we'll click that and attach policy. Now we'll go back to our table and try to create that trigger again. Select HW Python, create the trigger, and it's fine. Notice the last result is no records processed. So let's make a change to the table and see if our Lambda gets called. So I'll go to Items, and I'm going to duplicate this row. And I'll change its ID to something that starts with 9, so it's obviously different. And for the text, I'll say Lambda 1. Then I'll click Save, and it should call the Lambda, process it, return whatever message we said to return back, which was processed rows. So I'll click on Trigger, Refresh, it says no records processed yet. So could be taking its time or there could be another problem. So let's go to CloudWatch and see if we can see, see if we can see what was written to the logs. So under the Lambda, I'm going to select monitoring and view cloud logs in CloudWatch. You could go directly to CloudWatch and, and pick the right uh, log group if you want. So I'll refresh this. Looks like this is the latest one. And it printed out everything okay if that was the, the, the actual call we were making. So let's refresh this again. Let's even make another change to the database. Let's now change this row to be six. Save that. Hopefully it'll call the trigger. And it says okay. So let's go to CloudWatch and do a refresh. Make sure that we have the latest log file and there's the start of the call. Let's refresh again, and then we see the rest of the call, and it looks like it got a call to modify. So we might have uh, jumped the gun with our trigger the first time, and it may not have been ready to process it. We can see that the new image <clears throat> has an amount of six, where the old image had an amount of five, so that was the change. So let's try it again by, first let's refresh this and see still says okay let's do items let's duplicate this 
row changed the ID to something and the text to something. Save that. So now we should have a new row in there. Still says OK. We'll go back and make sure that we have the latest log file. And looks like it was started a call down here. And there it is. So now we inserted a new row with the, the keys and the values that we get and we can print out to our log file. Once again, let's check to make sure that our process was OK and it still seems to be fine. And so we were able to call our Lambda from our updates to our DynamoDB table. And so now we have a process where any change to our database is going to call our Lambda, or at least to this table. And then the Lambda can do any processing it needs to uh, from there. But what if we want to hit the Lambda first and do something to the DynamoDB table? That'll be next time. And if you need any uh, instruction or courses presented where you are, make sure you contact the people at Accelerate here or in the comments below.